The United States is continuing its pressure on Hungary over alleged corruption in a row which has already seen several Hungarian citizens denied entry into the US. The United States claimed it had credible information that those people are either engaging in or benefiting from corruption. Our correspondent in Budapest points out that aside from these alleged corruption cases, in the past the United States has also criticized many reforms introduced by Viktor Orban's conservative government. The Hungarian foreign minister called on the U.S. to publish its evidence, but Washington's man in Budapest said there are already sufficient warning signs. The government of Hungary could choose to act upon the information that has already been presented to it by either watchdogs, by concerned private citizens, by whistleblowers, by civil society, and act upon that information according to the wishes of its own citizens, rather than waiting for the United States to tell it which cases to investigate. Washington has already said that its travel bans were not targeted solely at Hungary, something that doesn't surprise analysts at an influential Washington think tank. The very troublesome development is that these tendencies are spreading across the region. There is a growing sense that corruption, democratic backsliding, um, ineffective and often biased judiciary and other, um, other signs of, of these tendencies are sort of putting these gains, um, these democratic gains, into question. An overall trend in Eastern Europe or not, Hungary sees the U.S. move as a challenge to the country's general democratic values.